We took some time out and went 20 miles up the road to this beautiful area in Wiltshire. We were fortunate enough to get one of those rare summer days that the UK have. There's no sailing in this video, but don't switch off. We're just here to show you a few minutes of how beautiful England's countryside is. Sometimes you just need a day off of work. We'll be back to our boating life in a couple of weeks. We're Steve, Annette and Gus, full time cruising on this beautiful Venus Ketch. However, life at the moment is slightly different where we're back in the UK helping with some family issues. So we're sharing with you some land adventures. We're off to Danbury Ring this weekend, or Danbury Hill Fort. Um, some of you might know it as that. Danbury Fort is a Stone Age fort that is two and a half thousand years old. And people actually lived there for over 500 years, so it's pretty amazing. Just thought that you'd like to come along and see it with us. I know it might seem that we're away every weekend, but I can assure you uh, we're not. Absolutely, definitely not. And um, yeah, we just take those breaks when we can. Somewhere we've never been before and it's fairly local. Isn't that always the way though? Mm, break. Mm. Don't break my egg, don't break my egg. That's a big egg. I think that is a duck egg. Is that one of William's duck eggs? Yeah. No, it's how big the yolk is. Oh, that is a very, very big yolk. Not the thing to be having when you're on a diet, is it? Diet. What's wrong with eggs and bacon? And fried bread? I don't think I've put enough. Boiling? Yeah. No, no I don't either. Oh. Burnt my finger! I thought it was a non-stick pan. Oh, it's meant to be. It isn't, is it? Look at that. I can, and that's not a non-stick pan. That's a very yellow egg, look. Yes, I know, it's a beautiful egg from William. It's not a lot of white with it, it's a lot of yolk. Yeah, but you don't, you don't, you have that because you don't like white, do you? No. Well, I can't have it because I'm doing your breakfast. Because right, you're me... not going to do my breakfast, will, are you? I'll do your, your own breakfast. breakfast, are you? I'll do your breakfast. No, this is your breakfast. I don't mind, it's okay. Well, I don't, I don't need it flicked like that. Okay. But today we're going in hunt for uh, Danbury Hill Fort. What's it famous for? It's in Danbury and it's a fort. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, is it famous for something? Yeah, it's a fort. It's a, it's a Bronze Age fort. So you're going to get out there, it's just a hill with a dimple. But if you let your mind carry you back to Uhtred, son of Uhtred, it's a <gasps> fort. Uhtred, son of Uhtred. No, I no. loved that series, absolutely loved that series. And he is just to die for. Uh, you all right there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah fine. <laughs> Have a little moment, are we? I'm allowed, oh, I'm allowed. Why would you park like that? For what reason? Oh, look at that for a view. Mm. Stunning. It's what a lot of the UK is like, for those of you that haven't been. So Danbury Hillfort is one of the most researched and looked into and investigated um, forts in the whole of Europe. It's over two and a half thousand years old and was actually lived in for over 500 years. It's a little walk, but it's a beautiful morning. The whole area is a nature conservation area, and you can understand why. You can understand why it was a hill fort. Because you've got the view of everywhere. So you can see when your enemies are coming. Uh, it's a trick point. This what, sorry? It's called a trick point. Yes. Triangulation, it's an ordnance survey triangulation station. It's 
fact, I guarantee it's hazel because there's a hazel nut. It's a hazel tree. It's a very old hazel tree. Very old. Can you see where it's joined together? It was two trees that joined together and it's separated just up there again. Amazing. Like it grafted together. Life was short and harsh in the Iron Age. Danebury was predominantly a farming community. The people kept sheep, cattle, wove wool and made leather goods. With a community of three to four hundred people for more than four hundred years, their main task was to protect the livestock and grain from attack by raiding parties. At the highest point of the hill, there were shrines and temples. Religion was important to the people who lived at Danbury. Their pagan belief was that the gods lived in rivers, trees and other natural features. They made offerings to the gods and sometimes sacrifices. Some of the burials uncovered at Danbury are thought to have been sacrificial. Rituals were carried out by the priests known as druids who were respected in the community and acted as a link between the people and their gods. They were also lawmakers, teachers, storytellers and medicine men. It's a wild strawberry, Steve. Yesterday we were at Stonehenge. Today is a much clearer, sunnier day and we're at Danbury Hill Fort. We're walking around the top of the, or the ring of the fort. So it's not really a fort as we know it. Now it's just a dimple in the ground, but it's a big dimple. It's on top of a hill, so they had maximum view and advantage over any enemies that were coming towards them. And this is the ring. And there's the inner. I'm absolutely boiling. They did say it was going to be four degrees warmer than yesterday. I think it's a lot more than four degrees. I've got a thick coat on, and for once, I'm warm. The site has been excavated twice in 1969 and 1988. However, only 57% of it can be seen. From the air, you can see 73 roundhouses and 500 rectangular buildings, which was where they lived and also storage pits. Most of the objects found, which were stone objects and bone objects and many iron and bronze artifacts, are now in a local museum in Andover. This earth seat occupies the site of an Iron Age roundhouse, Danbury Hill Fort. Can you just roll down no, that I'm hill? Not rolling down the hill. I'm not a cheese. I'm not. A cheese? What's well, a cheese last got? Week they were rolling a cheese down a hill in Wiltshire, weren't they? To every nutters were chasing it. Well, you can roll Breaking down the hill. Go on, I want to film you I'm rolling down the rolling hill. Rolling down the hill. I'm 60 years old. I'm not popping a hip. <laughs> but it'll be fun, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll hold the camera. I'll watch you do a couple of cartwheels. No, not cartwheels, but I will roll down. Oh. Just put them on the ground. We'll pick them up in a minute. I'll get the ambulance to pick them up. Help, get it up. Oh, yeah, here we go. You're right, you get yourself up. Look, you got yourself it. down. Yeah, you did. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, give us a like as well. We love hearing from you. So please, please leave us a comment and we'll always come back to you, always. We're not actually going to post a video in two weeks time, which we normally would do. We're going to take a break uh, for a month because we are off to Canada to go and see our youngest son and wife and grandchildren. So we will be gone for a couple of weeks, but um, keep an eye out for our next episode which has taken taken us a little while to do because it's quite a difficult one for us have an awesome week and we'll see you in a month's time ciao for now
help getting up. Oh yeah, here we go. You're right. You get yourself up. <laughs> Look, I you did got it. yourself down. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but have you let out a little bit of wee as well? Pardon? Did you let out a little bit of wee? No. Just put them on the ground. We'll pick them up in a minute. I'll get the ambulance to pick them up. I'm more worried about it when you let out a little bit of wee. Can you just roll down no, that I'm hill? Not rolling down the hill. I'm not a cheese. I'm not. A cheese? What's well, a cheese? Last got? Week they were rolling a cheese down the hill in Wiltshire, weren't they? To every nutters were chasing it. Well, you can roll Breaking down the hill. Go on. I want to film you I'm rolling down the rolling hill. Rolling down the hill. I'm 60 years old. I'm not popping a hip <laughs> just for the sake of YouTube. <laughs> But it'll be fun. Just for clicks and likes. No, it's not happening. <laughs> but it'll be fun, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll hold the camera. I'll watch you do a couple of cartwheels. No, not cartwheels, but I will roll down. Okay, I'll cartwheel. Hold on.